what's up? Rajiv Rocks here. Today we have another tutorial on how to make background for your desktop. Like this. See? Very easy. And it's fun, you know. For people who are lazy, you can do this. And you can make it custom, you know. That's what I'm doing. So, let's start by adding floor. Yeah, a floor. That's right. Some pretty um, sophisticated stuff we're doing there. So, okay. Um, now, put in, uh, go to MoGraph, go to MoText, add a text. Um, turn my thingy here. Uh, MoText. Change the uh, click on it, change text to whatever you want. I'm going to change it to GBrox because that's me. And then, change the depth to 40 you can change it whatever you want that's yeah I think you, I, you know what depth is so let's position it other then change the font so um hurry up hurry up yes okay I'm going for the T the T the T the T um B S um, T O wait um Looking for the TR Transformers. Yeah, bitch. Okay. Now, uh, click on the text. Uh, Control C, Control V for Command C, Command V for Mac users. And then you have copied it. And then to make it uh, to ha make it have a font, what, which is true, and you can change the font, uh, the caps. I mean, sorry. Um, do this. Change the depth to 20 and move this a bit in the middle. The one that you, um, yeah, you know what you just did. The copied one. And then at the copied one, go to caps, start cap, oh, fucking hell. fill it cap, um, end cap, fill it cap, and then you have this nice edge. You can change the centimeter, the radius, steps steps will make it more smooth like that but I'm going to keep it one on one. Oh that's what she said. No <laughs> sorry. Um so we're almost done here because I'm not going to teach you how to make it really sophisticated. That's for another time you know. So let's start by making colors for this one. So um the first color I'm gonna use on the front of my text, so here, is going to be um, black. So, um, like that. And then let's add a reflection. Texture for now. And then trim it down. Oh, what the hell? Texture for now. What's for now? Wait, clear. No. Okay. Yes. So like that, and then drag it on to that, and then the outer edge is going to be, um, I don't know, um, green. Doesn't matter to me really. So let's keep it like, let's keep it like that. Reflection. Uh, texture take for now and then just trim it down because otherwise it's not it doesn't look natural so put that on the outer edge and then we're going to make the texture for the floor oops delete the one and then like that this is going to be very easy white like that and I'm going not going to put any reflection on that so like that okay um position the camera a bit better and then i'm going to add um a softbox over at softbox from this grayscale gorilla so um if you don't have this i'm going to make another video on how to make softboxes for free that's much easier than buying the stuff I bought it because I had the money, but people that 
don't have the money for this just just make it how I'm go um, how I'm going to um, show you in the next tutorial I know I'm a bit slow in tutorials lately but I have school you know I have life too <laughs> yeah guys I have life too okay oh another light interesting delete that one because my my um if you watch my previous tutorials my cursor is a bit uh, crazy it double clicks when I click once so um go to render settings output and then uh, you can do screen as well but yeah let's go to screen and then no actually let's go to film a video and then this one HD VHD V72025 and then go to uh, save I'm going to do at the end um, anti-aliasing best still image because it is a still image whoops and then do best best still image um, I'm going to put this down because I have a really slow computer so um, change uh, good options uh, ray depth 6 reflection depth 3 and shadow depth 6 and tick the blurriness off good effects ambient occlusion and global illumination um, primary intensity 200 percent at global illumination IR uh, still images so fine like that and I'm going to make it that fancy this two these two low and can't pronounce them it's very stupid names okay go to ambient occlusion and then maximum ray length to 150 and contrast 40% okay and then save I'm not going to save it personally but as uh, uh, choose a spot for um, where you want to save it I'm not going to do that because I don't want to save this um, choose JPEG doesn't matter or PNG don't care um, all, all, almost the same so um, you don't have to um, really choose I choose JPEG, it's easier to set uh, the settings, you know. So then hit OK. Put it at 100% so you can get the best quality. And then let's see how it looks. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to cut this out. You don't have to watch this. So, and, and there you have it, guys. Oh shit, what is this? Uh, don't, don't look at this. I don't know what it is, but if you don't see this, then sorry. But here it is, guys. The finished, the finished background. If you want um, the font, it is uh, called Transformers. It's from Transformers the movie. Okay, so um, I'm going to put this template onto my um, website, gfmotiongraphics.blogspot.com, and please leave rating guys it's for G Frox signing out peace